how to add props to your VRM models. Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. This time I will be showing you a couple of ways to add props to your VRM models. This video will include external props just like the ones you can find on the internet or the ones you create by yourself and also the ones you create with hair in Mirroid Studio and attach them correctly to the right part of the body. These are the programs you are going to need. It depends on what kind of method fits more to you. Blender, Unity 3D and PMX Editor. All the links will be in the description. Let's start with Unity. I will be using a model by Mirai Souls for this method. Open Unity and create a new project in 3D. You can call it however you want. and import the package UniVRM and your model. The link to the package UniVRM will be in the description. Drag and drop it to the Assets tab. We do the same with the VRM character. I will create a new folder to keep the things together. Now import the parts. In this case it is going to be the set I made by myself. I want this to look just like the model, so I am going to create a new material and assign the M Tune shader. Then I will select the object in the Assets tab and assign the material in the Materials tab. Drag and drop the model prefab to the hierarchy. I want to assign the ears to the head. So I will open the model tree and search for the head bone. Here it is. Now I am going to drag and drop the ears and parent them to the head bone. In case the prop doesn't fit correctly, you can move it, scale it, rotate it as much as you want. And this is pretty much it for this prop. You can see it works correctly now. Now I will assign the tail. This one will be parented to the hips bone. Just like the ears, drag and drop it to the right bone. I want this tail to have physics, so I added a couple of bones in the modeling software. Now I am going to add a BRM spring bone here. and add the bones of the tail over here. And, as you can see, now the tail has physics.
to end, just select the model prefab in the hierarchy, click here and choose export. Now the model will have the props attached. Now let's go to the PMX methods. For this one, I will be using a model by Afrodi. I will attach her wings to her back since they are attached to her head. This one is quite simple. To start, Let's disable all the materials except the wings, that way we will not mess up the rest of the body. Now go over here and click the W letter. This window will pop up, click start. Select the bone you want to attach this part to by holding the shift key and clicking it. Now paint the part until it's completely red. Once you finish, click start again. Now the wings will not move when I move the head, no matter how extreme it is. Now they will only move with the upper part of the body since they are attached to that part. This method can work for any MMD model and part for that program. Just make sure to attach the prop to the right part of the body. Now let's go with the parts for MMD that have physics. These leaves were made with the hair tool, so they are attached to her head. I want them attached to the shoulders instead. To start, I will parent the first bone of this bone chain to the shoulder. You can know the bone ID just by selecting the bones. This model may have different IDs than your model. Once you know the IDs, select the hair bone. And in this box, you add the ID of the part. In this case, I will add the ID of the shoulder. This method works with any other part of the body. Just add the right bone ID. Now it doesn't follow the head completely. This is because the head still has some weight painting on this part. To fix that, go to the W letter and click start. If you select the head bone, you will see all the parts this bone moves. In this case, I will add the weight painting in the shoulders and the torso. But first, I will disable the rest of the materials. And just like before, paint in red according to the bone and the area. Be careful selecting the bones and painting. You may also need to check the other bones to make sure everything is in place. Once you finish, click start again, and you can test if everything works correctly over here. You can do that as many times as you need. Now there is only one last thing to fix, and those are the joints, these little yellow cubes that control the physics. To fix that, go to the joint tab and select the first joint of the bone chain. Now go over here and choose the right part of the body, in this case, the shoulder.
you have to do this with every bone chain you want to attach to another part. Once that's done, you can finally test your model. If you still see errors, you have to fix the waked painting. You may also wonder if you want any physics at all in the model if you spend too much time fixing it. If you want to use that model in VRM software, you have to convert it again. I also have a tutorial for that, you can watch it over here. But if you don't want to do that, there are still the Blender methods that keep the model in VRM format. You need a plugin to import VRM models in Blender, the link will be in the description. Once you have it installed, import your VRM model. In this case, I will attach the wings to the back. To do that, select the bones, select the mesh, and over here, change to weight paint. Now select the bone you want to attach the part to, and paint until it's completely red, just like in BMX Editor. To test your model, go to pose mode, select the bone, and rotate it. In PMX Editor, the waked painting is overwritten once you paint in another bone. This is not the case in Blender. To fix that, go to object mode, select the mesh, select the skeleton, go back to waked painting, Select the head bone and make sure to paint the wings in blue. To do that, go to the brush settings and set the weight to zero. Luckily for you, your model will not be as messy as mine. If you see more glitches like this, go back to weight painting. I would not recommend this method if your model is very messy. You may need some experience, surgeon-like precision or being completely insane. Not that I have all those qualities. Once you finish, select the body, the face, the hairs and the skeleton. Then go to the VRM import helper and click Validate VRM. Once that's done, you can finally export your VRM model. If everything went alright, this message will pop up. Before After If this is too much for you, you can export the hair parts in Vroid Studio and attach them just like in the first method in Unity. And finally, let's go to the parts with physics in Blender. For this one, I will be using a model by Reichi. You will also need the VRM Importer plugin. The balloon is parented to the head, I want it to be parented to the body. To start, go to object mode, select the bones, and then go to edit mode.
You can see the name of the bone you select over here. Select the bone you want to detach from the head and go to the bone settings. Over here, select the new parent of the bone. In this case, it is going to be the hips bone, but it can be any bone you want. You have to do this with every bone you want to detach from the head. This method also works with tails. Once you finish, select the bones, select the mesh, and then go to Waked Painting. Select the head bone and go to the brush settings. Set the weight in zero and paint the prop in blue. Once that's done, select the new bone that is the parent of these hair bones. In my case, it was the hips bone. Now set the weight in one and paint the prop in red and white. You can test your progress in post mode. Once again you may need some experience in rigging. Once you finish, select the body, the face, the hairs, and the skeleton. Go to the VRM helper and click Validate VRM. If your model is missing any information, this message will pop up, but you can still export it. Before. After. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Also, you can commission me to make a custom prop or fix your models. If you are interested, send me a message on Twitter. And this is all for now. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe and follow me on social media. See you next time.